New report may explain why a police chief and two officers abruptly resigned from the Jacksboro force. That report also claims the officers weren't the only ones to walk off the job. It's breaking news tonight. Thanks for joining us. I'm Amanda. I'm Ted Hall. Glad you're with us. We're diving into the latest revelations, revealing plans to replace the officers who left. Our Sam Luther has that. They turned in their guns and the equipment and walked off the job. Now we're learning more about why, according to a report by the Volunteer Times, the former police chief claims the mayor interfered with police business and asked for arrests to be made that weren't justified. The chief and two officers resigned. The Volunteer Times reports an alderman and the vice mayor followed. So how are we going to stop crimes if we ain't got nobody to help us? Uncertainty is setting in for those who call Jacksboro home. Since then, the city hired an interim chief and now they claim to be well on their way to finding replacements. And I will point out, they are seasoned law enforcement. They're not fresh out of the academy. Hoping new hires take place in about a week. City Attorney Steve Hurst says they have enough applicants to get them to full staff. But what's stopping this from happening again? He has a few thoughts. You could have a running log on police activity. You went to this location and did this. You had this accident here, this investigation here, which would be sort of a public record that the, the council could look at and see what's going on. In the meantime, the city is getting help from the Campbell County Sheriff's Office. Hearst says there haven't been any drastic changes since the mass resignation. Nobody's in danger. There's adequate police. In Jacksboro, Sam Luther, WVLT News. And we are learning more about the mayor there. Court documents show Shane Green, who was once a reserve deputy in Campbell County, went to prison for more than four years. He threatened to shoot and electrocute a suspect and tried to push that suspect's head underwater back in 2004.